Hey you guys, so I'm not going to be talking a lot in this video because I'm sick and I don't want to annoy you guys with my voice. So I'm just going to be showing you guys how to do a three bead method. Um, this really helps me get the perfect apex. And also the V cut, or not the V cut, the outline nail that I did in my last video. I'll have a full set video um, uploaded on that next, probably in a few days after I upload this one. And I'm sorry it takes me so long to upload my videos, but it literally takes my YouTube like 8 hours to just upload one 40 minute video. So it really is hard to find time to just sit there on my computer and wait a whole 8 hours for a video to upload. So I'm going to try to figure out how I can upload videos faster. If you guys know how, please let me know so I can start uploading videos all the time because I have so many videos recorded, but I don't upload them because I just don't have the time to sit there and wait. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy this and I hope it's helpful. It's really simple. I hardly ever do the one bead method because for me it's kind of hard to get um, a good apex whenever I do the one bead method so a lot of times I just do um, the three bead method unless I'm doing short nails and I'll just do a one bead method so I hope this is helpful for you guys And if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below and I will try to answer it as fast as possible. And as you can see, my nails are done in this video. I did these nails for my birthday. I know I hardly ever have my nails done whenever I upload a video. And it's just because I can't ever find the time to do my own nails because I'm always doing other people's nails. And then whenever I do have time to do my own nails, I don't feel like it. So I'll try to do my own nails more often for you guys so you don't have to look at my ugly fingernails. And also I'll try to upload a video of me doing my own nails so you can see how I do my left hand and my right hand. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching.
I just wanted to explain to you guys how I do this before I stop completely talking in the video. So as you can see, I place the bead about three fourths of the way down, or kind of like towards the middle really. And then I just start patting it in and then I blend it towards the top so that it's not like a big bump whenever I add the other bead. I start shaping it to form uh, really nicely on the nail tip and after I do that then I'll add the other bead just right above or right on top of where I did the other one but most of the time it's right above where I did the last one so as you can see here I place it just right above it and then I'll start patting it in so I just like patting it patting it patting it start patting it down and then I'll start sweeping it down I don't know what other word to use for it <laughs> I'll start sweeping it down and then after I do that I'm just gonna repeat the process you know shaping it to like form to the nail tip and then I will add my other bead right on the cuticle area so whenever you do this you want to use gravity to your advantage and you want to kind of hold the nail down so that it doesn't flood the cuticle area because if it floods the cuticle area then it's going to be so annoying to have to go back and you know uh, oh my god sorry I can't breathe <laughs> okay so you don't want to have to go back with your brush and clean up the cuticle area so you really want to use gravity to your advantage and I know sometimes like it happens to me sometimes like I have to go back and have to clean up the cuticle area because a little bit got like on the cuticle but it's okay if that happens it's okay just make sure it doesn't just stay there make sure you fix it before it completely cures And there will be some times whenever you have to go back and just add in another bead even after you've done the three beads um, and that's completely fine just as long as you build the apex where it needs to be built and you're satisfied with how the nail is and you're confident that the nail will not break because it doesn't have an apex so if you need to add another bead then do so there's nothing wrong with that it's completely fine mm -hmm. 